All right, welcome to yet another episode of the Debian Stable, and this magician has just pulled a rabbit out of the hat. I'm going to show you how to unlock Wheezy or Sid on your Debian system using the Debian Sources List Generator, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spadry's Cup of Linux. Okay, one of my viewers asked me about unlocking Wheezy or Sid. I also found you can also unlock unst uh, Experimental. Now, let me explain the differences between the different Debian branches. First, you have Stable, which is a rock. Um, it will not break. Then you have Testing, where if you're running Testing, and you download an update and something breaks, it could be about a month or so before an update's released. And then you have Unstable, which gets updated all the time. It's pretty much bleeding edge. If something breaks though, you usually get an update within uh, a few days. So if you're looking for something absolutely stable, I recommend that you stay with the stable branch, which at this time is called Squeeze. Or, if you want to try Bleeding Edge, you definitely want to check out Sid. Okay, with that all of the way, let's begin with today's lesson. Okay, first, let's go ahead and let's open up Root Terminal. Alright, and... today's exercise, I'm actually going to do all of this graphically. Alright, first I'm going to run git it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this file in the file system we need to go into. Etsy. apt and sources.list Okay, I'm going to increase this to full screen. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to actually replace the sources list. So, we need to comment out everything here. Okay, now, I've got a little rabbit up my sleeve. Or, is that pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Something like that anyway. Okay. I found this really cool page. This is the Debian Sources List Generator. And from here, when we, we're going to generate a source list that we can pull in and copy and paste to our sources list. And this will open up experimental, testing, or we can have the unstable set. First we need to select our country. Right, I'm in the United States. I'm going to select uh, SID, which is unstable. Okay, and then we have Debian branches and updates. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these here. And today I'm going to stay away from the third party repositories. I'm going to go ahead and generate the list. Okay, and as you can see, there are the here are the official repositories that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this entire list. I'm going to right click and copy it. Then I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, and the reason I've uh, copied all this is because then I know if I, if I run to any bottlenecks or anything, I can just go ahead and uncomment these out and remove all of this here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save that and we can now close this window. Okay, next thing we want to do is apt-get update. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next we're going to type in apt get dist type upgrade. It's going to go ahead and read the package lists. going to download a lot of archives and files. Now, if I select yes, I'm going to have a system that has been upgraded to SID, which is unstable. I'm not going to do that right now. I'd like to get you guys' feedback. Do you want me to run unstable, or do you want me to run stable on this? So I'd like to get your ideas and that sort of thing. If you thought this was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. You can also Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. I will keep you up to date every time I load a new video on this channel. I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, put them down here. I'll try my best to answer them, and if I don't know the answer, I'll point you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.